जेनोसाइड आखिर ये लफ्ज जेनोसाइड है क्या और इसके मायने क्या हैं? जेनोसाइड के लफ्जी मायने किसी नस्ल का कत्ल आम या नस्ल कुशी है ये लफ्ज 1944 से पहले मौजूद नहीं था I describe genocide as how it's described in the legal definition in the 1948 Declaration of Genocide or the Genocide Convention uh where it's a systematic elimination of a group of people based on a, on specific characteristics whether it's race, religion, um gender or other specific innate characteristics and inalienable ca- characteristics इसी साल एक पोलिश जूश वकील रफायाल लेमकिन ने नाजी जर्मनी की बाकायदा कत्ल आम की पॉलिसियों को मद्देनजर रखते हुए लफ्ज जेनोसाइड को जन्म दिया incomprehensible something that just can't be named has happened um and he tried to say well let's let's come up with a name that shows the absolute s- severe nature the horrendous nature of this type of crime where you're not just killing people to kill them you're ac- actually trying to destroy them and in part genocide you're destroying a piece of humanity genocide greek or latin zuban se nikala gaya lafz hai the genocide the word itself really came into being um linked to the holocaust uh in the second world war against the jews and it was actually uh, it came into being from the the uh the term geno meaning peoples and side meaning uh killing it was a killing of peoples and the genocide convention in 1948 was essentially an attempt by the international community to say that what occurred during the second world war in nazi germany uh, could not occur again should not occur again mag germany ke genocide se bahut pehle bakol 21 mamalik ke 1915 mein ottoman empire ne armenians ke khilaf genocide kar diya tha isko manne aur na manne ke hawale se aaj tak is par behas jari hai i think it's horrible that we still continue that the rest of the world continues to deny the armenian genocide especially when one of the most famous quotes that came out of the holocaust was when hitler said who who today remembers of the armenians he said that as part of his justification why it's okay to go and slaughter the jews and and others uh that were killed in the holocaust is by saying if we don't hold those accountable if we don't remember armenia then who's going to care about what happens today and that's what's happening right now with darfur is that we still don't have that same response to this is not this is not acceptable during if slavery no one accepts slavery today in, in if it would happen in the united states that same response should happen with genocide everywhere in the world magar 1933 se lekar 1945 tak germany mein yahudiyon ke khilaf nazi hukumat ke kiye gaye holnak jaraim ke baad bhi nasli qatl e aam ban nahi hua iski misal rwanda bosnia aur darfur hai no question about that It was a failure of political will on the part of the leadership of the major countries uh to act when the information was being provided by Romeo Dallaire the United Nations remember had peacekeeping forces there that were carrying out a an a peace agreement that had been signed the previous year had not been adequate but he was reporting what was taking place and the United Nations and the member countries did not respond adequately बोस्निया के लोगों ने भी सर्बिया के हाथों जेनोसाइड के मायने जान लिए बावजूद इसके कि आलमी बिरादरी डारफूर की मदद करने की कोशिश कर रही है मगर डारफूर में जेनोसाइड अब तक हो रहा है और रोजाना मासूम इंसान अपनी जानें खो रहे हैं I think the critical thing that we've seen in past genocides is when you dehumanize that other group of people. It's really hard to kill someone if you think of them as as another human being. And so if you see during the Holocaust they called the Jews inferior subhuman or in Rwanda they called them cockroaches. And I think that that you have to categorize them as something other than human to allow yourself and to allow others to feel more comfortable eliminating them. um and then you move on to once you ready kill one person or two or three or 10 what difference is it when you kill 10 to 100 it's just it's just a matter of numbers at that point 
اتنا کچھ ہونے کے بعد بھی ایسے لوگ اور ادارے موجود ہیں جو ہمت نہیں ہار رہے ایسے اداروں میں دا کرائسس گروپ سر فہرست ہے کچھ سال قبل امریکہ کی ایک مقامی یونیورسٹی کے کچھ اسٹوڈنٹس نے مل کر جینوسائڈ انٹروینشن ڈاٹ نیٹ کے نام سے ایک تنظیم قائم کی جو اسٹوڈنٹس میں جینوسائڈ کے حوالے سے معلومات فراہم کر رہی ہے I, w- I would first inform them the exciting opportunity that each and every one of them has to be able to prevent and stop genocide. I think that's alarming news because usually you think of genocide as being only a government's action, that it requires our government to do something. But this is, we found a unique ways, many unique w- ways that individual people, that all your members, all your audience can actually take after learning about what's happening in Darfur to take to stop. Uh, what's happening to our four and prevent future genocides. So I think that's the critical thing that they can do. And the second thing that they, that they can do is join our network so that they not only take one action, but they can learn of the numerous ways that they can stop what's happening in Congo Uh, in Darfur, sorry, and in other, con- in other conflicts as well. So this is, this is not a one-off thing. This is going to take several years um, to be able to ensure that the world is, is rid of genocide. ماضی نے ہمیں بار بار یہ دکھایا ہے کہ جینوسائڈ کو ہونے سے کوئی بھی نہیں روک سکا مگر کسی کو بھی دوسرے کو اتنی تکلیف پہنچا کر کیا حاصل ہو سکتا ہے As I say, we've seen this in relation to religious um, uh, hatred. We've seen it in relation to ethnic hatred. Uh, we've seen it now in, in Rwanda. And frequently what occurs is that in the case of uh, one ethnic group particularly if it's in a minority and it fears that the majority in that country will come to power and deny their ability to exist then they act and they attempt to destroy that other group before it comes to power سوال یہ ہے کہ کیا انسانیت ایک اور جینوسائڈ کو دوبارہ دیکھے گی یا دارفور جینوسائڈ کی آخری پناہ گاہ ہے It's not energy, it doesn't seem to be energy driven. It seems more to be the issue of humanitarian, of moral, of the, the moral necessity to stop a genocide or the legal necessity for committing genocide to do something about it. Um, and it's interesting in Darfur versus what happened in Southern Sudan, they're not Christian or animists, Sudanese that are being killed. These are Muslim on Muslims. And yet the country that's taking the lead on stopping this genocide is the U.S. Many people say, where is the Arab League on this? Where are the other Arab nations that often criticize the Western world uh, for getting involved in other crises because of their own interests, for being oil or being white people in Bosnia or being Christians, let's say, in southern Sudan. But in Darfur, when it's Muslim on Muslim, where are all the Muslim advocates protecting Muslims being killed by other Muslims? Imran Siddiqui, Voice of America, Washington.